Hello there Aquarius, welcome to your reading. Um, when I was shuffling the, the spread out for you guys, I saw two images. So the first is, um, I see this man, he's, um, he's a little bit overweight and he's had a really, really big uh, meal. And he's, uh, you know, he, he's like at this island, this Caribbean island, it's got, you know, like um, sparkling water, white sand, and he wants to go scuba diving. So he's just, he, he's just recently eaten. And um, he wants to like dive really deep into the water to check out the corals and see the marine life and things like that. And so he jumps into the water and it's like this big canyon, cannonball splash and he floats. So he, he's struggling to try to dive, but then, you know, he's floating. I don't know the mechanics behind that. I don't know how to swim, but um, I would imagine that he feels like, oh, I shouldn't have eaten so much. Now I'm afloat and I can't, you know, sink down to the, the, the corals and, and see the fish and, you know, swim around. So I feel like he was really struggling. So that was the first image. The second image is, funnily enough, I see somebody uh, typing on a keyboard and uh, it looks like a female finger, like uh, hands, and her nails are long. She doesn't have thick nails, she just has her regular fingernails. But her, um, I guess the fingernails have grown out and so it's hard for her to key and touch type correctly. Okay, so she feels like she's uh, tapping the wrong keys. And so she looks at her fingernails and she's all like, it's time for me to cut them. So she starts cutting them. She's like, it interferes with me when I hold a pen to write. It interferes with me to, uh, when I try to touch type. And so th that's what I'm, those are the, the two images that I'm seeing. Um, both of those images, I feel, um, definitely applies to the spread because what I feel is happening in your life right now. We have the fool. This is wanting to soar, wanting to explore some type of a new territory, wanting to do something that is outside of your comfort zone and wanting to kind of like embrace all the opportunities that are trying to manifest in your life, that you are trying to manifest. I see many of you having this deep, deep, deep desire to kind of like push that reset button in your life, to do things differently, to apply everything that you've learned from the past in order to excel, in order to do things right, in order to be able to soar and achieve your dreams. And there's definitely some emotional hangups. You know, this is sort of like, life is calling, you have new opportunities, but no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm not ready yet. I'm not you know, prepared. I have all of these things that I have to do. So no, 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 I'm holding off on that. And so those are the two, the, the first two cards that flew out anyways in the spread. And to segue back into the, um, the image, the nail cutting. Okay. And I know that you guys are probably very, very, very sick and tired of people telling you about cord cutting. And, uh, you know, in the Aquarian mind, it's sort of like, what's the point? What's the point? How is that action symbolically, metaphorically, psychically going to achieve anything? Once I decide to move on, I've already decided to move on because your willpower and your mind is very, very strong. And so when you hear cord cutting, I feel some of you might, well, many of you might scoff at the idea or might like be so sick of hearing about it to the point where you stop listening. Okay, so um, bear with me is what I'm trying to say. So let's talk about cord cutting. <laughs> okay, so just think about the fingernails, right? And um, maybe some of you can connect with, you know, the, the symbolism behind it. Uh, when you're trying to touch type and your nails have grown really, really long, it's hard for you to gauge the right key. It's hard for you. Your, your sense of distance is a little bit off, right? And when you're using the computer, your distance has to be very concise in order to hit the right key, in order to type fast, in order to move fast. You have to let go of things that have outgrown, okay? Think of it like that. So 
Cutting your fingernails, it's a physical action. It has physical results. It allows you to streamline your work. It allows you to type faster. Cord cutting has a spiritual impact. So cord cutting is a spiritual activity. It's a spiritual action that has spiritual impact. Whereas nail cutting is a physical action that has a physical impact. So think of it that way. So the other image, the man that just, you know, ate and then he's a little bit kind of uh, overweight and he's having a really, really hard time to sink to the bottom of the ocean in order for him to explore all the beautiful things, um, you know, around the barrier reefs. So he's just... That, that's what I'm feeling for you. It's almost like you need to get yourself physically, emotionally, and spiritually ready in order for you to do this new endeavor and to do it right. And so, you know, take five, ten minutes out of your day. Hopefully, after you watch this, light a candle, play some meditation music, whatever it is. Uh, sit down on an you know empty table and think about the things that you want to release okay you can make a list you can recite it in your mind making a list is probably something that you guys like to do it keeps you on track and it makes sure that you don't forget anything whatever it is that you want to release okay I based on this spread would say there is a person in your life that is a major barrier energetically it, they're a major barrier in your love sector that's disallowing you to move on and you have left them in the past you have sailed away as indicated in this fool card but energetically without you knowing they are drawing your energy back in does that make sense this is something that you have moved away from emotionally, physically, but they are energetically drawing you back in, taking energy from you. And I feel this is an X. It's an X. And it is creating blockages for you to meet new loves, for you to have the love relationships come into your environment. So energetically, you are being blocked by this person they might not have any negative intent or they might not have any I, I, I feel um, it's not like they're doing it this on purpose it's not like they know how to you know manipulate energy and, and and try to keep you energetically stuck to them or tether to them this is something that is inadvertent so it's not like this person is this horrible person putting barriers and barricading you, keeping you stuck to them. And that's why this symbolic act is going to help free you. So sit down, make that list of all the people, all the, the things, all the emotions that you want to release. Okay, write it down in that list. So energetically, this is going to make you feel a lot freer, a lot lighter. And once you have created that list, you want to just say, you know, I, I'm going to conduct this cord cutting to release all of these things from my life. Take a piece of cord and take a scissor to physically do it. Okay, so that's how you can start to kind of uh, untie yourself from the past and energetically to free you from the past okay so once again it is a symbolic action now we're taking it into the physical realm so that we can free ourselves and untether ourselves from energies that are not good for us okay and what i see here slashing through things that are no longer serving you slashing through things and people and and just situations that are drawing your energy this is the six of wands overcoming obstacles in order to achieve success because you have some really positive things that are coming in here and you know as i'm telling you guys this and i know a lot of aquarius watch um, tarot readers 
you know, the, the view counts are through the roofs, like with my channel and other people's channel too. And, um, but the, deep down, you guys are very, very skeptical when it comes to rituals and, um, I guess the ideology, the spiritual ideology um, behind tarot readings, okay? It's sort of like taking things with a grain of salt or, you know, 50% in but still 50% skeptical, right? So I would urge you, even if you're skeptical, do this activity for yourself, okay? It's not meant to hurt anybody. It doesn't send out any negative vibes to anybody. It's just to free you so that energetically you can reclaim your power. You can feel whole again so that you don't have energy um, leaking from you so that you can move on, okay? So even if you're skeptical, do this for yourself. It takes 5, 10, 15 minutes. Even if you feel like, oh, it doesn't work, then that's fine, it's 15 minutes. At least it'll get you, you know, to into that meditative state. Or at least it'll help you formulate that list so that you are cognizant of what's on that list that you need to let go of. You can write as many things as you want, but I honestly feel it's due time, okay? So put your skepticism aside. Because in life, and you can relate to this message because you guys are very... I'm all in or I'm not in at all, okay? So in life, we can't do things in a half-assed manner, right? So if you're going to watch something, take the advice wholeheartedly, okay? Don't continue to watch if it's a half-hearted attempt to only take what you want and then leave the rest behind. Does that make sense? So try to do this. I feel like it's going, it's due time and it's going to be very good for you, okay? So what we have coming in, we have here the star lighting the way, being able to feel very inspired. Um, I, I see circulation. So like, um, I don't know if many of you have gotten a lot more physically active, but I'm seeing this breath of fresh air. It's like liking the way your body looks, liking the way that you feel, feeling lighter. So I don't know if you've been shedding a lot of weight, if you've been foregoing food, you know, turning down food. And if you have been um, just a lot more careful and mindful about what you're putting in your bodies, okay? So I see a lot of people trying to do cleansing, um, not even a juice cleanse or anything like that, but I feel like you're trying to get into a better, like trying to get yourself used to a better diet or changing your diet, changing the way you look, um, changing your physical appearance, making yourself look more professional, making yourself look more... Um, put together is, is what I'm seeing and there's nothing wrong with that so I feel like there's definitely some changes and I feel it's coming about because of another person okay so I feel like you're 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 changing your habits you're changing your the ways in which you do things because you are your actions are linked up with another person what you do affects another person and so you're trying to bring your very best the purest form of yourself and of your actions because it affects another person for some of you it could just be you know parenting wanting to be your very best uh, physically so that you can you know stay on top of the kids or uh, trying to get yourself in best shape so that you're not tired when you're playing games with them trying to um, research and learn things so that you can educate the children for example and then I see for other uh, others of you you might be in a work situation where every little thing that you do matters and I mentioned before last week I believe you're under scrutiny it's almost like the, the, the things that you send out into the world is going through a review process. So you can't really half-ass it and send something that is, you know, slapped together because it's going to face scrutiny. So I feel like what you do really matters. So you're like more attentive to details. You're sending the best of yourself to the best of your capabilities forward because whatever you send out is a reflection of you and you want to make it the, as good as it can be and i feel like this also translates into your physical appearance okay so 
if you've been, um, and I know this is weird, if you've been breaking out a lot, if you've been dealing with like, um, especially skin situations, like skin conditions, like unexplained rashes, unexplained breakouts, unexplained hair loss and things like that. And it, I, I feel like some of it could be stress. Some of it could be dietary changes. Some of it could be just hormonal things. Um, but I, I feel like, you know, the, um, I feel like there's going to be some breakthrough or some alleviation of that. Okay. Um, so that addresses the first four, well, the first four cards here. So we have two Kings showing up in the spread. I have here the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups. So I'm not going to name signs because what I feel is uh, the cards are falling out based on the pictures and the way that the pictures and the people and the court cards, whatever, are, are interacting with one another, the way the cards interact with one another. So what I'm feeling here is um, you definitely have somebody that that really wants to create a life with you okay they don't know how but they they really really want to work with you as a unit okay and uh it's hard for aquarius to work together with another person because you're so independent and you have you have your way of doing things and when you want things you just kind of get out there and and, and make it happen so they see the effortless way in which you make things happen in your life. They see you as, you know, always striving for more, always wanting to improve things. You might be someone who is like an efficiency expert. You have a really fast way of doing things and you're always trying to find better ways of doing, ways to streamline, way to get things done faster, way to increase efficiency, and way to ways to increase the quality of the things that people do or that you do. And so they see you as somebody who's like constantly on the go, you know, jumping over one hurdle at a time. You're not there to sit and ask for help from other people. You just blast through it. It's not like, you know, uh, shoot first, ask later. It's not that. It's just that you have an intuitive knowing of what I need to do in order to overcome this obstacle. And you're not one that is evasive or conflict avoidant either. You face your fears head on and you slash it. You slash through it. And they see this about you. And, you know, from the outsider looking in, they, they people think it's reckless. It's not reckless. It's just having a really, really strong sense of self and having an accurate assessment of your capabilities to know when you absolutely need help and to know what you can blast through, right? So this person sees you as like a force to be reckoned with. They want to build a life with you. There's a lot of love here. There is a lot of love. I have here Ten of Cups. This is the family card, okay? Completion. And um, you rarely show this side of you until you are kind of, I, I just feel like somebody has got you very weak in the knees. It's like you, you're, you trust this person, King of Pentacles, King of Cups. These are very, very trustworthy people in your life. So if it's a love relationship partner, you, you, you trust somebody with every fiber of your being and that's a really rare place for you to to be um because once again you know like i mentioned before that that 50 percent skepticism like one foot in but the other foot out the door so it's it's hard for you to trust 100 percent, but you've got somebody here that you trust you trust 100 percent and uh, you're able to put yourself in a p position where you're vulnerable and exposed with this person and you trust this person and you you trust that you know no matter what they're going to they're not going to um, do anything to hurt you okay sort of like this vulnerable exposed child learning things discovering things for the first time and whoever it is they're 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 handling you with like kitty gloves and they don't they're not going to hurt you and you know this, and it's taken a long time, I feel, 
for the cups to you know rack up or to build up to this point where it's like at first we were very apprehensive no 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 it can't be they can't be in love with me they can't feel the same way no 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 i'm just gonna you know um bide my time or you know um wait for them to show their actions and then we have the star wish fulfillment and we jump to the ten of cups total trust so you have somebody here that wants to build and i feel like once again that sense of skepticism uh it creeps back in and it's like you know aquarius even when life deals you, you know, rainbows and lollipops. I feel like so many of you have been so jaded or, um, I don't feel like betrayed, but I feel like jaded in the past where all the good things that are coming your way, you trust it half-heartedly. <laughs> you, you trust it half-heartedly. So it's a, it's, it's a sad place to be. And so that cord cutting, is going to allow you as well, you know, make a note on that list, trust issues, okay? Or make that note on the list, like the feeling of not deserving, because I feel that's what it boils down to. Why should I trust this when everything that I've trusted and, and put so much stock in has always failed in the past? Why should I trust this when everything in the past has come with strings attached, right? You've been burned. You've dealt with a lot of opportunists that have taken a lot from you. And your light still shines. And you're encountering a love that is very pure and true and a partner that is very dependable. But you have to trust that this partner is not going to break that trust. And it's hard, but you have to trust that whoever this is, that you can be vulnerable around them. I feel for some of you, this is like a, a work environment where somebody who is in a position of authority cares about you, okay? Like they care about you. Um, they want you to prosper. They want you to thrive. But there's also an emotional connection where they care about you. They want you to be happy. And if you're not happy here, they want you to go wherever it is that can make you happy so they're okay to relinquish control and to relinquish you know uh, to, to let you go so that you can find your happiness so you've got like some really really genuine people that really care about you they're not self-serving they really care and so you have to let down the barriers and you have to learn to trust you have to learn that i can be a baby in this situation you know, not like the tam tantrums and the, the temper flare-ups and the, the crying and things like that. Um, or the immature behavior. But in a way, it's like I'm learning things for the first time. I'm discovering things from the first time. It's okay for me to make mistakes. It's okay for me to defer to somebody else's advice or expertise or judgment because they, they, they've been there and they have more wisdom than I do or more experience than I do. So it's okay for me to put myself in this situation and tell myself I'm learning everything brand new and I don't need to be so perfectionistic about it, okay? Or I don't need to prove to anybody anything because I'm learning this stuff for the very first time. So that's going to be a huge burden off you when you can be in this environment where people are supportive and you can let yourself be more childlike, more carefree, and not have to feel like you have to live up to such unrealistic standards that you set for yourself, okay? So, the other four cards, uh, what I do see here, we have here the Three of Cups and the Three of Wands. So the three energies are greatly about expansion, collaboration, dealing with other people um, and the three of wands deals with projects that are a little bit more on the playful end okay and the three of cups deals more with like social gatherings getting you know like grabbing a group of friends grabbing a group of co-workers going for happy hour sharing ideas with each other in a more social environment okay so e even if it's work it's like getting together and not talk about work, but talk about everything else 
so that you can establish a really, really good working relationship. We don't have to bare our soul and talk about, you know, our childhood trauma during these gatherings because the Three of Cups is more of a playful energy. Um, but it, it's allowing you to connect to other people and it's allowing you to be able to feel, I want to say, it's not about being social. It's, it's more like to emotionally engage and to emotionally connect. Okay. And uh, once again, I, I have to reiterate, you're with good people. You're with good company. You're with good people. Everyone's uh, heart is in the right place. And so we kind of need to, you know, let our guard down and, and to allow these connections to happen. Um, finances. With the King of Pentacles, what I feel is um, it's almost like your work is being appraised, okay? Your work is being made better. Your work is being improved. So I definitely see a maturation process when it comes to your thinking, when it comes to learning technical skills, when it comes to being able to use your intuition and your logic to blend the two and be able to, you know, do really good work and to have people in your work environment very happy and giving you, you know, positive feedback for the work that you're doing. So you're going to shine really bright. Um, going back to this love triangle situation, um, there's somebody in a relationship that you might be trying to get to. Okay. And uh, I, I feel like, you know, there, there's this sense of reciprocity. We have here the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Whenever I see two uh, court cards of the same suit, especially the King and the Queen, it's sort of like a good match. Okay. A match that is meant to be because emotionally you both are on the same page. But the cup energy is a, is a realm. It's the water realm where you're not very comfortable. And so what I'm inclined to say here, and I see so many cup cards, so I have four, ten, king and queen, and then the three of cups. It's full of cups. It's full of um, that emotional realm. You have to let your guard down. You have to be able to match what you say with what you feel. Okay? And to not say one thing while you're feeling another and 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 what does that mean maybe that's also something that needs to go on that list okay to be able to speak from the heart to be able to to understand that speaking from the heart and expressing how you feel doesn't make you cheesy doesn't make you weak doesn't make you vulnerable aquarius tend to think that and that's why we don't express our emotions verbally even though Deep down, we feel the weight of it, but we don't know how to verbalize it. So I feel like that's something you can put on that list so that when you cut your, the cords, I, I feel like it's just a, a space of, you know, writing it down so that you're being, you're more cognizant of it. You're aware of it. You're aware that these are things that you have to work on. And that's what I feel. It's like you're a baby. You're learning things. You're learning to express yourself. You're learning to express love. You're learning to express gratitude. You're learning to express to somebody how much they mean to you. Okay, so regardless of whatever, um, whoever is in the picture, say your piece and say what you have to say. Okay, um, I do see there is somebody who is going to be walking away from their relationship partners. Um, and it's sort of like... So I don't know if this is the person that you like walking away from their relationship partner, or it's like you, you're kind of frustrated with the slow pace in which, in which somebody is doing things. And you're just like, I'm going to leave you to do your thing. I'm going to do my thing. I don't see it as like a breakup or a walking away completely. And I feel like, you know, water signs, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they're a little bit slow when it comes to acting. Okay. Um, water signs take a really long time to mull things over and while they're mulling things over they're gonna talk to you about it they're gonna talk about the entire process what they're feeling what they're thinking what they're planning to do and then when it comes time to act they might not do anything that they planned or anything that they even you know talk to you about so their actions might be 
so far from everything that you've talked to them about because ultimately their actions depends on how they felt in that particular moment so you might be a little bit frustrated with them all this talk and no actions but i feel like they're in a space where they're afraid to do things incorrectly okay so it, it's a matter of um self-confidence i feel and it's also a matter of it's, it's a matter of not wanting to make a mistake and so be patient with this person but i feel like some of you are just like okay i'm, I'm going to leave you to do your thing i'm going to do my thing and then we reconvene at a later time and i also feel like earth signs taurus virgo capricorn this is somebody who is a pillar of strength to you and this is somebody that <laughs> Wow, so I'm just seeing this. You know. So look at his look at his hand. And it could be male or female. It's like I'm giving this to you and what's right underneath it that he's pointing to, this 10 of cups. I want this with you. I want the the whole 9 yards, you know, the whole marriage, the whole children, the emotional stability because I feel like they see that in you. Um so do some cord cutting Aquarius. Um cord cutting will actually clear out some of the emotional baggage some of the confusion so make that long list whatever you want to release write it down write it down okay and um take out a piece of cord and just you know physically cut it release it if it works it's amazing if you don't feel that it's working then you know maybe you can try a different method. I don't know, but I feel like you're probably really tired of hearing people say this, telling you that you know you've got brand new energies, brand new starts all over the place in every single reading, and you're just like, but where is it coming? When is it coming? And so some of you might be frustrated, and I feel like the cord cutting is going to allow new things to come in because then energetically you're not being pulled or your energy is not, you know, leaking so that you can be a little bit more focused, okay? I hope the reading is helpful and um, I want to wish you all a very, very happy birthday time. Take care of yourself, okay? Oh, um, I know this is running a little bit long, but I don't really care. Um, I saw another image too when I, I was looking at this card and then pointing down. Um, I see this scale and you know the 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 whole concept about you know when you at the end of your life right you're you're standing in front of some type of a judge okay some type of a spiritual um uh judge and he's telling you you know should we allow you into the gate of heaven let's weigh out your heart and let's see if it's pure and, and things like that and what I'm feeling here is um, some of you might be in a position where you might be, I, I don't know exactly how to phrase this, but it's, it's almost like, you know how, you know how we've been doing things by the book for so long, for such a long time. And then we feel somebody who might be cutting corners and they're getting a lot of, a lot of, um, it, it, it's almost like, and this is a very specific message only for, for those that it applies to, but it, it's, it's almost like there might be temptation to deter you from your track of morality is what I'm sensing and and i feel like it's relationship oriented okay and um be very patient with the people that you're dealing with okay we're all going through different life lessons and we don't know where others have been unless we've been in their shoes so it's it's easy for us to judge and and things like that it's, it's very easy for us to judge um so it's really important for you to kind of weigh things out i feel and to take so so let's say somebody who's really aggravating right and you're you're just like you're dealing with the symptom they're they're annoying they're um they're, they might be depressed so the bottom line is you don't know where they've been and so you find somebody who's in, especially aggravating I, I feel like it's important to ask the why 
it's important to to figure out you know what have they been through that makes them like this so you might be dealing with someone who's very defensive and then you find out through you know through the grapevines that they've had really um like domineering parents um they they have parents that undermine them they have parents that you know um or were not very loving and so they they grow up very defensive and they grow up just like with a chip on their shoulders right so figure out where someone has been or at least give somebody that benefit of the doubt before you cast that judgment okay uh, i'm gonna leave it at that i hope the reading is helpful you have some really amazing things coming in and i do 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 sincerely wish that you guys do that cord cutting okay take care of yourself aquarius i'll talk to you next month okay bye, -bye.